Heading for the stairs, Mr. Tolliver hesitated and turned to Beck with a puzzled look. She grinned and gave him a peppy wave. With a shrug, he continued up the stairs, whistling a jaunty tune. Beck blinked slowly in disappointment. She turned to the table and began tearing small scraps of paper. Beck marked each scrap of paper and leaned back. Luca and Beck looked at Rollo with amazement. looked around nervously. Thank <laughs> you. 
Paris's cry hung in the air. Solomon stood proudly at the entrance to the drugstore, holding a brown bag overflowing with black licorice. <laughs> Solomon shoveled a surprising amount of licorice into his mouth. <laughs> Beck cupped her hands on the glass to peek inside. Beck flung open the door and they all squeezed in. Luca cracked his knuckles and entered the letters into the keypad. of the phone booth dropped loose from its shell. Without even the space to panic, they closed their eyes, held their breath, and accepted their fate. Suddenly, the chaotic descent slowed to an effortless landing. It was unclear where they ended up, but at least it was solid ground. The air was stagnant and smelled vaguely of chlorine. Ooh.
over the field of blinking buttons. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Joseph waited for a moment in silence. He gestured toward the strange tubes. Creed let out a growl of a sigh. He shook his head wistfully. Nuncree took a menacing step towards the children. Luca began to laugh. The color drained from Nuncreed's face. Luca by the shoulders. His eyes were frantic. A jolt of realization struck Mr. Nuncreed. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Chapter 8 The Cold Hard Truth Beck leapt up, allowing the suction to yank her into the dark. Dimness eclipsed around her like the shutter of a camera as she seemed to cover great distance in mere moments. Her only points of reference were glints of upcoming turns, which approached with frightening speed, only to carry her gracefully along. She heard the tinny, distant echoes of Rollo's glee. Once she stopped fighting against it, the ride was impossibly smooth. Then, all of a sudden, as if minutes had passed in an instant, light blazed into view. A burst of wintry air snuffed across her face, and she was flung out into the cold. rounded the corner to the frozen town square. They spotted Mr. Nungreed inching cautiously toward a pit at its center. He held his arms out gingerly, as if approaching a beast in the wild. Upon closing the distance, Luca recognized what Nungreed was after. Graham stood confidently at the edge, one arm outstretched over the abyss. Nearby, a wheelbarrow had been emptied out. She held a lit torch, which flickered in the bitter wind. Closer. Mr. Nuncrete spun back toward Grant, his voice growing louder. <laughs> Mr. Nuncrete winced with anguish, his voice hardened. They both now yelled, not to each other, but at fate itself, making their peace with long-held burdens. The wind howled with encouragement. They menaced at each other, both catching their breath. The moment balanced on a knife's edge, and memories. Luca's mind flooded with questions. The wind calmed, as if to give him the stage. And in the stillness, he began to weep. It was all just too much. 
Falling to his knees, Luca whimpered softly. The tears crystallized as they hit the snow. Gran stared at Luca for a moment with warm sympathy, remembering why this was all necessary. <laughs> She stiffened up and brandished the torch at Mr. Nuncreed. Ignoring his final plea, Gran flung the torch into the deep darkness. She smiled and exhaled in relief. Mr. Nuncreed moaned in resignation. The torch echoed as it ricocheted down the hole punctuated with a thunderous thud. Before Gran could finish, the ground shook her to silence. time to spin around and run to Luca. Her attempt to shield him, an honorable but trifling act. Unflinching love pitted against an unthinking horror. There was no contest. Her warm embrace froze in an instant. That is where they remain, fixed in place forever. And so, our story ends on this melancholy scene. In a town brought low by its secrets, sits the frozen statues of a misguided band of meddlers. The end. Well, that was dire. On the bright side, we finally figured out where all the ice is coming from. Now, we just need to find a way to deal with a mystic, unfathomable force of nature. <laughs>